myths about trading now this isn't going to be i don't know it's not going to be about what does and what doesn't work this is more about perceptions or uh misconceptions that new traders bring into the market some of the things that they think now obviously you might not have thought this um but these are just some of the ones that i could think of that i've seen or experienced myself so the first one um probably the biggest one is that trading is easy uh, obviously training is not easy it takes time and a lot of hard work there's a reason why the majority lose the reason why most traders lose is because it's hard right um that's the correct way of saying it trading is not easy and the perception is that it is easy so when traders join and they get destroyed by the market um it kind of brings some reality next one is that you can make loads of money with a small investment now small investment and loads of money is completely subjective right a small amount to me is different to a small amount to you same with lots or loads right it's a different amount of money but the perception is that you can put a small amount of money in and you can make a lot of money in return and it's just it's just not true right you need lots of money to then make a small amount of money back that's really how it goes right it's the same as stocks you need to put a lot of money in to get a small amount of money back the next one is i can be profitable in one month now this might be one week this might even be one year right it doesn't really matter what the kind of thing behind this is i can be profitable in a short amount of time and it's just not true the only way this is true is if you have institutional uh tutors really if you come into the trading industry and you have a professional trader teaching you every single day you might be possibly other than that it's probably going to take you a few years the next one is one-to-one -one risk reward is bad trading now i'm sure that obviously um there's a lot of traders that do believe this it's not true um i would say maybe anything less than a one-to-one -one is bad trading but i would say one-to-one -one trading is fine as long as you have the win rate right it all just balances out just because you go for a one-to-one -one does not mean that you're bad at trading it does not mean that your strategy is bad that's just the strategy that you're going for here's another thing you need a high win rate to make money this just isn't true as well it just it, it's just not um the one minute strategy that i'm currently using or currently testing um has a 40 slash 39 percent win rate and that makes money so you don't need a 70 80 90 percent win rate to make money it, it, it's just not true higher time frames are easier to trade now this is partly true and also not i think the, the perception that traders come into the market with that the higher time frames are easier is mainly because you have more time to think about the trade right it takes longer for your trade to set up therefore it's easier to trade i would actually flip it on its head and say it's harder because your mind has longer to sabotage yourself which is then going to make you do stupid stuff to go against your trade right you have more time to overthink your trade setup you have more time to find a trade setup you have more time to once you're in the trade you have more time to sabotage that trade uh, more time to think your think your way out of the trade so it's definitely not easier it's definitely not easier i can make a thousand pounds a day with a hundred pound investment 
Now, <laughs> this is probably one of the main reasons why people get into trading in the first place, because they're told this, and it's just not true. It's just not true. Um, even if you flip it on its head, it, I can make a hundred pounds with a thousand pound investment per day. That's not true either. That's crazy. Um, that would mean that you're making 10% a day, which is just ridiculous. Next one is never risk more than 1% per trade. This isn't really a misconception, but it's something that is kind of talked about in industry. Not really industry, but um, yeah, this isn't this isn't true either. This isn't true either. You can risk whatever you want to risk. If your strategy has a 90 plus, you know, uh, win rate, you can risk more than 1%. As long as it's not, you know, 70%. You can risk the percentage that your strategy allows you to risk. Number nine is I can just copy other traders. So that obviously there's a lot of traders that will, well, they're not really traders. There's a lot of people that will sign up to signals, copy trading, and they think that that can just make them money. And it's just not true, right? It's just not true. Otherwise, every trader would just be copying each other and no one would actually be trading. And the final one is the strategy is the reason I'm not profitable. And it's just not true. You're the reason you're not profitable. It's not, it's got nothing to do with the strategy. Um, yeah, and I'm sure that there's at least one in here. There's at least one myth in here that you found that um, you brought into trading. I'm sure there is, because there's always going to be one. I mean, I, there's multiple in here that I believed to be true. But um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that.